All right, so I just wanted to do an update on the Thinking Particles Blood Squib TD tool. So let me go ahead and bring that in. Uh, basically, I created a macro script to bring in the scene file here uh, because it's a little bit more than just a black box. So if, again, if I click on this macro script, you can see it's going to tell you to remove TP first from your scene. In uh, any case, um, if I play this down, we get some blood squirted out. Boom. Hits the ground plane. So there's a ground plane in here. So we have some blood that splashes out. Hits the floor, slides a little bit. Nice and natural. And then um, we have our emitter here, which again is positioned for wherever the blood emits, right? Let's take a look at the TP icon here for all the parameters that are changed and what's new or updated here. Um, so basically, um, what I've added in here is uh, just some more better defaults for um, using this. But I also added a random seed value here so you can change the, the random seed of your particles. Um, you can see here if I scrub this a little bit, um, you know, it's not going to be too much different, but it does change the shape. You know, if you want to get, you know, crazy with it, you certainly can. Um, but in any case, uh, you can do that. Uh, you can also turn on the mesh toggle. Um, it's one thing you can do is you can toggle on the mesh uh, so you can see your, your particles meshing. Uh, the one thing that I'll do is let me go ahead and turn off display with selected edges and just kind of. Uh, we just frame up on this a little bit here and uh, if you are rendering with V-Ray this is already set up with V-Ray and a subsurface scattering shader for the blood as well obviously you'll need some lights and things like that but as you can see here we're already getting uh, blood and that's the whole purpose of the TD tool here is to make blood squids blood hits lots of blood easy so all right uh, next thing down below is uh, multi-blood. This is where the fun comes in play to get more uh, blood action happening uh, than just a single hit like that. So let's take a look at that. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to start the frame at frame 5 and I want to loop and the next blood hit, let's say I want the next blood hit to be at frame 20. So in that case I want this to loop for 15 frames because it's starting at frame 5 so 15 frames later is frame 20. And then I want it to stop, so I'll just stop it at frame, let's say, 22, okay? So now, essentially, what's going to happen is there was going to be one blood squib hit and then another one at 20, and you can see that. So it's a way for you to control multiple blood hits. Uh, but what's really cool is when you start to get a lot of blood going, so let's do that because that's fun. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to animate uh, the blood position as well, just because... You'll get some cool results with that too by just slinging some blood around. So I'm going to turn off TP for a second. Shift, Alt, and O on the keyboard. That will actually toggle off the master dynamic. If you didn't know, it's a great shortcut to be uh, using. So let's go ahead and animate. So I'll go to frame like 20. And let's say I come here, come up a little bit like that. Maybe I'll shoot the blood up. And then maybe we'll shoot some down like that and come back to our starting frame somewhere like here and bring it back maybe somewhere like that just so we have some random motion on our blood position cool so now if I do shift alt and O again on the keyboard turn the master dynamic back on uh, let's set up this up for a lot of blood so let's say I want to start emitting blood at frame 2 and I want it to loop um, let's say uh, let's do let's do 16 frames and I'm gonna stop emitting blood at frame 80 and what this will do is this will pump out a bunch of blood along you know the path of this uh, emitter point here so you get a lot of blood going on which is pretty cool um, but um, let's take it further actually so let's get a lot of blood going so let's emit blood every uh, five frames and let's check that out so now we're getting a lot of blood kicked out and what's cool about it is because now some of the blood is still in the air and it's being hit by the other blood that's in the scene like so <clears throat> as this blood shut out and some more gets pumped out you know it's gonna react to the other blood um, what I'm gonna do is actually let's do it even further let's pump out some blood every three frames so we're going to get a lot of blood. Yeah, that's better. Now we're getting a lot more blood being, you know, 
blast it out like that. And uh, let's do some cool stuff here. Let's actually, uh, like, here's a big bunch of blood being shot out right there. So let's add in some collision objects. Let, let's add in a box that we can use here. Let's say something like this. And let's lower it. Make it skinnier. Lower it, something like that. It's just so we can know for sure it's probably going to hit a bunch of this blood here at least at some point. Some of it actually might go over the top, which would be kind of cool to see. Cool. So now we can also add in objects very easily here as well. So let's go ahead and go back to the TP icon and let's go down here to our flow boundary and all I'm going to do is click add and add the box in and that's it. Nothing else. And I'll go ahead and go forward and back a frame and then I'll just play this down and so now we're going to see some blood a lot of blood being just pumped out of our emitter and because it's animated it's, it's using that you know direction and motion to just throw the blood around. And it looks like we're getting some blood hitting the wall. Cool. However, um, I think we need to actually add some friction to it. Um, I want to like kind of stick on the wall, and slide down. So let's do that. Uh, let's go ahead and raise our friction up to let's say 0.85, something like that. That should give us some good uh, friction on the box that we added in. Because I kind of want to hit the wall and stick and then slide down, create a nice little you know splatter pattern uh, on the wall. And we might have to move our wall in a little bit, maybe. Uh, no, here we go. Now we're getting some cool stuff now that it hits right here. Yeah, that's pretty cool, because now we're getting it to slide down the wall. Um, we're getting this blood that's slung over the top, splattered over the back, getting this really cool, interesting blood splatter pattern all over, actually. So it makes good wet maps out of this stuff here. So as you can see here, this is a really cool way to get some blood going very easily um, and uh, not only creating a blood hit and maybe you know a couple of blood hits by using just basically the uh, frame looping action here, we can get some really cool stuff. And you can see by animating this um, positioner here, you can get some really interesting results as well by animating that to just kind of force the direction of where you want the hit and the blood to splatter. So any case, uh, that's a new uh, update for the uh, Blood Squib TD tool, which I will probably be publishing this at some point, uh, you know, on Vimeo or whatever, maybe on my website. So cool. Thanks for watching.